Welcome to BuildBox 3. In this video, we're going to go over one of the items that you can find in the tab bar up above. In this video, we're going to go over the preview button and the preview window. So let's start by going over the basics. Let's go ahead and click our preview button and open up the preview window. So I'm going to go ahead and just start by hitting the play button and showing you I've got a very simple platformer template here available for the sample today. And we're going to go ahead and just start left to right and show you all the different buttons in the preview window. So first we have debug mode. We're going to go ahead and select debug mode and then refresh our preview window. And we can see now that once we press play, we can see all of the collision shapes that are in our scene and all of our obstacles and objects in the end of our scene. And it's really helpful for testing. If you're playing your game and you're finding that something isn't working just right, I highly recommend turning on debug mode and then playing through the scene again and testing out to make sure that everything is working in the background. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off debug mode now, and I'm going to go over the screenshot button. So what this does is it allows you to play your game and take a quick screenshot of your game and then it'll save that screenshot to your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over here so you can see it and this can be extremely useful when you are needing screenshots for submitting your game to the App Store or Play Store. You can also use it to get nice screenshots for social media posts about your game. There are lots of reasons why that the screenshot feature is really handy. Next, let's go over the different screen sizes and resolutions available for the preview window. We have an iPhone 5, iPhone 4, iPad, Full HD, and iPhone X. You can go ahead and select any of these below and then it'll resize the window for you and it will make it so that you can see your game in those dimensions. And on the right here we have the scale and so you can make your window smaller or larger depending on how big your screen size is and it will automatically adjust for you. The last two buttons in the preview window are the reload button and the show logs button. The reload button is self-explanatory. You just hit this button and it'll refresh the preview window and it'll refresh your game. You can start your game over by doing it this way. Now you can also open up the show logs button and this is mainly for coders and scripters. This will show you if there are any syntax errors or if there's any bugs in your code that you need to fix. One other really cool feature about the preview window is when you go into your 3D world, the preview button actually splits into two parts. This is the regular preview button, and then this is the preview selected scene button. So let's say that you've got a scene down here that you just created and you wanted to test out just this scene. Now that you've got the scene selected, you can go ahead and press this button up here at the top and you can test out what it looks like in just that scene. So now I can go ahead and see what the this is like when I'm playing the game in the preview window as well. So it's a really, really nice feature that is added to the preview window, and then the rest of the game will go ahead and randomize the scenes after that. But the first scene will be the selected scene, and you can preview just that scene. It's really, really great for testing and developing. This saves you from having to play the whole entire game until that scene randomly comes up. Now the last feature I want to show you in the preview window is really awesome, and it has to do with the fact that the preview window always stays on top of the BuildBox software. No matter where you move the preview window or if you click anywhere else in the software, the preview window is going to stay on top, and there's a reason why. Let me go ahead and shrink my preview window down so that it's a little bit smaller so I can show you a quick example of how we can move objects in our scene or in our user interface, and it's going to make those changes real time in our preview. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on our 3D world user interface right here, and you can see that this is essentially the play button that we are looking at right here in our preview window. I'm simply going to grab my object and I can slowly move it to the left or slowly move it around and it will actually make the changes real time in our preview window which is really really handy and it works for your 3D worlds and your scenes as well. It's especially handy if you have a second screen that you could put the preview window on. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Keep an eye out for more tutorials at buildbox.com.